Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pseudo Cur- Pseudo's Crochet and More. This is your host, Crystal. Today I went to, well, I didn't go today, I went on Friday, February 17th to check out my closest Ollie's. I have so many Ollie's in my area now, I don't know what to do with them. But this is the one that's like five, ten minutes most away from me. Um, because of Kim's video, I'm like, I have to check out. Because last time when I went to go look for the Karen, or Karen cakes uh, at the $4.99 price, my store never got them here. And if they did, I never saw them. I thought that was funny. They had a Just Jarn, <laughs> a premier Just Jarn in there, in the boxes. Now, that first one that I picked up was not there last time. It was a green with a... Um, a metallic running through it, a sparkly green. I should have got some of them, but I didn't. Some of these have been there since the last time I went to check uh, for new yarn. So they still haven't sold a lot of this. They still had some Hugo Charm. I don't know, I, I, I still wanna say Higgy. <laughs> but it's pronounced Hugo. Like, why is it spelled like that if it's pronounced differently? But okay. Um, I was looking in boxes that I couldn't see. Now, I don't think those were here the last time that I came to check. Um, they were very soft. A little bit more than I wanted to, you know, I was looking for the two ninety nine deals. <laughs> I think as everybody is when they go to Ollie's. I considered that a bulky five, but you don't think I really... I don't think I really thought that was a five. It looked like more of a thicker four, not a five. And holy cow, I think they overproduced the bluebell uh, color from uh, Red Heart. You'll see why in a second. They still had a bunch of that there. They had the little ones, and I think they had a bigger skein of it too for the baby uh, velvet baby velvet by Bernat there were actually people over there looking I should have grabbed that but I did it because I think that was the only one I saw at that time it was the chocolate tweed and I think it was only $2.99 I had a lot of loopy yarn there, as you can see. There was some in that first bin, box, whatever, that I had pulled out. Then they had some regular Bernat Premium, not the tweed, in like a tan color. I'm pretty sure I show the color. I was, you know, one-handing it, so. Oh, this was Cafe. So they were calling that coffee? Looked more like a tan to me. And that was part of the $2.99 deal. If they had other colors, I might have gotten some of that, but they didn't, so. I was just looking around for other yarns. And all the way up on the top shelf, well, not the top, top shelf, but top, the next shelf up, there was double stacked of that bluebell blue color. Had quite a bit of the flame. This was just regular red heart for two ninety nine. I tried to leave it up there long enough to read it, but you guys can read it. I'm just like, ah. I'm having some sinus issues this morning. And this one, the aubergine, was actually Red Heart saw, uh, with love. I was surprised to see that. I know every Ollie's gets different things, but it was weird that I saw the with love one. I think I was trying to figure out where the where it was made at was on this label. 
I never saw it. <clears throat> they had quite a bit of that. They had, I think, more flame than that one. Oh, and then the lovely roll with it. Now, I did get all three of the this color, the violet. <clears throat> And the, the lighting in there was done. My I was trying to make sure it wasn't glaring, and I do apologize if it is glaring too much, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I've never had this, so I was like, well, I like the color, and for some reason it's picking up more blue than the, the purple color. I know that there was blue in it, but it, it seemed to be more purple than that. And then they had th this color here, as I'm trying to show you guys upside down. <laughs> I was trying to be as quick as possible. My husband was waiting for me in the car. Stormy blues. It's It was a pretty color. I just, I think I would have overdid it if I had gotten that one. So those were, I was making sure that they were two different colors because I couldn't remember. And those were all the same, the stormy blue. And there's more bluebell. Now, I know Kim was trying to figure out, I think it was this one, where it was made. And it has the USA logo on it somewhere. One of these do. And that is way back before they started doing it in Turkey and all that stuff. It was the imported was made in the US with imported fibers. Never told you where the fibers came from, just that they were imported to the US to be milled here. And then this little lonely one red heart soft, I left it. I'm sure I could have made something with it, but I left it. Red, I mean, I wear, I, I wear things with red in it, but it's not one of my favorite colors or color. I want to say it's on the next one I show you that I kind of glanced over real quick. I'll go back to that. I picked it back up for some. Oh, I was trying to see the color wine. And here it is. The little American U.S. flag. I was just trying to get it to hold it so I could show you guys. So when it has that, our flag, the U.S. flag on it, it means it was made in the U.S. with it, of imported fibers. So I think it says there came from Mexico, but imported and distributed something, and that's in the color platoon. I would have thought that that would have been kind of some kind of chocolate one, not platoon. Platoon, I'm thinking of, like. Um, and they did have quite a bit of the topaz too. Um, thinking of like watercolors or kind of more like green and like navy. But they actually had a pattern on the inside of the label for the fingerless gloves. They called them, I don't think they called them that. I was trying to um, get the a picture of me with the sign, but I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. So we did have some of the chic, cheap colors. I think we had I, this. My store had different colors than Kim's did. Merino wool. That was actually really soft. This was sunset. So if you've got an Ollie's in your area, even if you might have to drive a little bit to get to one, I would I would suggest checking it out. Just you know, because two ninety nine, knowing that most of these now in store are much more expensive. I was trying. I think I fumbled one of these, so that was pull side for the blue. Yeah, I would I would have worn a made a garment like a sweater or a cardigan or something with for that. I don't think it it, it didn't hurt my uh, when I touched it. It was really soft, even though it was mer it was merino wool. And 
and this is the sparkle that we had. I did get um, three of those, two of those, two, two. I do have an idea of what I want to do with it. And considering there's over 500 yards in one of those, it was kind of interesting because you'd think it would be less with having the sparkle, but it's, it's not. I was checking to make sure there weren't any other colors, and this was in the color opal. I was trying to make sure when I did pick out the ones that I got that they were um, uh, the same center. And only two of them I could figure out were matches. All right. And then just giving you an overlook of the stuff on the bottom. They did have some Burnett Sheepy. I really didn't pick it up, but they did have it. All right. So if you're in the Roanoke... Uh, Virginia area, the Ollie's uh, at the Valley View, by the Valley View Mall does have quite a selection on the new yarns. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and stay safe and stay crafty.